Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. To this video, I'm going to share you some of the three common or basic types of payment terms in real estate. My objective with this video is to help our newly hired agents to know more about the basic payment terms and for those investors who wants to check what is the best payment terms for their budget and which is, which is feasible for them. But a quick reminder, this computation is just merely a sample computation so this will not really reflect on the developer side because they all, in every developer they also have their different types of presentation on how to come up with the side of computation. So this is just only for a general idea on what are those kinds of terms or payment terms that uh, most of the developers applied. So let's start the three basic types of payment terms. Our first is top cash, second is deferred cash, and the third one which is this deferred down payment. So let's start per first with a spot cash payment. When we say spot cash, it is a um, one-time payment through cash. So meaning to say you're gonna pay the full amount of the property that you purchase once. Let's just say for example, you purchase a unit of 5 million. Then the developer is giving you the term discount 10%. When we say term discount, this is usually given if you choose like the spot cash payment but it will also depend upon the developer there are other developers giving like five percent ten percent fifteen percent so from the five million price less the term discount which is ten percent amounting to five hundred thousand your net selling price of the unit you purchase is 4.5 million since the property amounting to five million this is subject for a 12 percent VAT so the 12 percent VAT for 4.5 million is 540,000 this will add up to your net selling price so right now your total selling price it will become 5 million 40,000 from the amount of 5 million 40,000 we have to add the five percent charges so the charges are commonly add up by the developer since this is used for the miscellaneous for the transfer of title for any documentations that intended for your unit but some of the developers adding 5%, some are 3%, 5%, 2%, 10%, more. So it will depend upon also with the developer side. So from the amount of 5,040,000 plus the 5% charges amounting to 242,000. So you'll, your total purchasing price right now is 5,292,000. That is for the price of the unit that you're gonna purchase through cash. And the good thing with respect cash payment is that you save a lot of money since most of the developers are giving huge discount for this type of payment terms usually there are developers giving 15 percent 17 percent it will depend upon also with a developer so that's the good side when it comes to the spent cash so let's move on to the second type of payment term which is deferred cash when we say deferred cash it is withheld for or until a stated time a deferred payment so in the simplest way to say is that you're gonna pay the amount of the unit that you purchased within a specific period of time for example you are purchasing a unit and the uh, property is still in a pre-selling stage when we say pre-selling still under construction and the developer is allowing you to purchase purchase or to pay the unit within the span of 48 months so if you purchase a property of 5 million then you're gonna pay it in 48 months so basically you are going to pay the unit in cash every monthly with a certain amount or a certain monthly amortization that the developer has given it to you so for example for the selling price of 5 million for the property the developer is giving you 5% term discount since you are choosing the different cash payment the term discount that you can get from the developer is 250,000 so from 5 million less 250,000 the net selling price right now of the property that you purchase is 4 million 750,000 this time is we are going to add the 12% VAT so 4 million 750,000 less 
572,000 for the VAT, your total selling price right now is 5,320,000. And of course, we still have to add up the 5% charges amounting to 266,000. So your total purchase price of the property right now will become 5,586,000. So that is the total purchasing price of the unit. Since this is payable for 48 months, 5,586,000 divided by 48 months, monthly amortization is 116,375. So the advantage of choosing the different cash payment is that no need for you to put one time cash payment for your purchase price. So you can do it in a monthly amortization basis like 116,375. And the good thing with this is um, there is no interest involved when it comes to this payment. Let's move on to our last payment, which is deferred down payment. The deferred down payment, an option of the down payment that you pay to the seller or the developer on a date after date which you sign the contract. Usually, for the deferred down payment, the developer is not giving discount when it comes to this. So, from the 5 million price, let's add up the 12% VAT, which is a 600,000. So, your total selling price of the property right now is 5,600,000. So, we have to add up also the 5% charges. So, the total selling price or the total purchasing price of the property right now is 5880000 The 20% of your monthly amortization is 24500 And the remaining 80% is through bank financing which is 4704000 So, this is the most commonly used payment terms. Usually, almost most of the buyers like 80-90% to 90 of the buyers are choosing the deferred down payment since no need for you to pay a huge amount one time so you just pay it in a monthly basis so i think that's all for today i hope that this video can help you to choose whether you are going to choose the spat cash payment deferred cash or the deferred down payment if which is really best for you and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you